Dun, 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 dun. Good morning and welcome to Escape the Echo Chamber with Niels Cat and Ben and Sarah and today we're here at Riverston RSL Club's car park because this is where we camp for the night it's like five bucks membership and then 15 bucks for power or another five bucks without power so yeah it's pretty sweet here and uh, it was nice to run the heater all night so today we're uh, gonna get out of Sydney we got to go south and we got to start getting to Melbourne because we've only got like a week before we've got to be there and that's going to be really really Russian for us so uh, let's go have a quick look around uh, Richmond did I say Riverston before? I meant Richmond anyway and how sick was the snow at the Blue Mountains yesterday if you didn't see that video go back a number and uh, you check that one out here's the RSL they're open till 3am if you can't sleep you can come over and play the pokies all night if you want. Uh, this is like the main street of Richmond and you got like the mad cricket field over there and then all the old shops run down the street here and uh, there's a couple really cool old buildings I've noticed. So uh, yeah, we've got to go down the coals and then we'll have a look at the cricket field and see what buildings we can see. The whole main street's got a really cool feel. It's like a rural town even though it's like in Sydney, well it's like right out on the outskirts of Sydney but it's still in Sydney, so uh, yeah, it's mad Oh man, they got a sick graffiti wall here next to the tattoo parlour, eh? It's Marvin the Martian! Oh, it's really old school with a bit of roof like this and old shops and stuff It's mad Oh yeah, so here's some old buildings Here's the old Richmond post office. They don't have a date or a sign or like anything about it though, which is a bit sad, Richmond. Sell your history a bit. Uh, I'm guessing that's the old police station, even though there's no sign, no nothing. Uh, there's bars on the windows, which makes me think that that's the police station. And uh, down here, this looks like it's the old bank and it might be a museum even. So uh, go have a quick browse of that. It's a cafe, not a bank. Well, it is a bank, but it's not a museum, I mean. Check out the gutters, eh? They're all sandstone. That's how old this place is. I don't know how old Richmond is, because, yeah, they won't tell you. They forgot to put up signs about their history. Here's what I'm looking for. Look, they've only got self-service and one thing open here. So, like, look at all the old people, man. They're all standing here, like, lost as... Wow. <laughs> Employ more people calls. This is shit. Snuck over the bank. Have a look at their house. And now uh, look at the front door, how epic that is. And all this. All the cornice work is awesome, mate. Eh? Oh, and there's really old stuff in there. Oh, oh. Not gonna go in and annoy him though. Yeah, this is like pretty typical of like old Sydney buildings. I don't know what period, but they use like the red brick and it's all like odd sized red bricks as well. They're not like not one brick is the same. And uh, then they use like a sandstone base and uh, then sandstone pillars normally. Sometimes I'll go right up and be fancy sandstone and things. But yeah, like this red set, red brick with the sandstone. That's how I uh, remember like the School of Arts at Rudy Hill and a lot of these old buildings. And like that's how all these, even these painted ones will be built. So it was the courthouse, not the police station. And they do have a sign. It was built in 1878, this building, eh? So like how impressive is that? You don't find much in uh, Queensland at all built that early. And if it is, it was like bar cuts and things. Sick old buildings, eh? So, and well, the most interesting thing that I can teach you about Richmond is that uh, this is the nigger black stand and I'm probably going to have to beep all that out and you'll be scratching your head for a bit but uh, if you Google around enough and you have a look, you'll work it out. So from what I remember they call it the nigger black stand because that was the guy's name and it's just named after him and uh, back then it wasn't like 
a derogatory word or anything. That was like just his name. So yeah, there you go. Wow, just this grandstand's been here since 1883. This sign says it's the Rod McConnell stand, so I don't know. I don't know. It's not what I remember. Maybe the pitch is called, but I don't know. I'll have to find out. What a sick old fountain. Doesn't tell you nothing about how old it is or where it come from or nothing. It's just a fountain. -y. If I had any advice for like New South Wales towns, is to like put some signs up, sell your history a bit more. More people will come and take an interest in it and they'll spread the word and then more old people will come and take an interest and they'll spread the word. And yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, down on Busy Street here, I think this would be the old theatre, the region. And then there's this old place here. This place is really creepy looking. How'd you like to live in there? It's a mad place. Yeah, I could walk around here all day. It's such a nice little town. Um, the traffic's a bit busy in spots, but I guess you get that in the city. So, uh, yeah, we better keep going. Like I said, we gotta go to Melbourne. Check out this old house here on the corner. And it's this whole street is like full of old houses, eh? Wow. All right, that's enough now. We really need to go. Ah, uh, no, I said we were going, but like, wow, how cool is this house? and the garden and like everything it's got the lot what a package it's for sale even but like imagine what that's gonna cost and then uh check out next door like wow what a mad old house this one is too better go there's someone coming and the next house is the same it's some really cool house be like well over a hundred years and and then the whole street just keeps going like that i think I'll tell you get up there anyway. But yeah, it's a mad little town, eh? Oh man, I shouldn't have started looking at the old houses. You could walk around in here for ages looking at the houses as well. Wow. Yeah, Richmond is mad. Get down here and check it out. See what's up the side street. Uh, big old churchy castle down this street, eh? I wonder if it's got a date on it. Yeah, 1929, this one reckons. Sick old scary building, eh? Alright, so yeah, uh, Richmond's been pretty cool. It's uh, one of the oldest towns in Australia and everything, and they got some mad old buildings, and this place was really good to stay at. So yeah. Come and see Richmond. Now we're gonna go and uh, head from Richmond straight clear across the Blue Mountains to Lithgow and uh, out to Bathurst, hopefully, and uh, go do some laps and stuff. <laughs> That's probably all I've got time for in this video, even if it's a bit short. And uh, we'll start the next video crossing the mountains, I guess. We'll see you there. Dun, 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 dun.